Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what emotions Capricorn has for the month of August. Freedom. Okay. <laughs> I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. See what else we have. Imagination. Okay. Embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Let's see what else for Capricorn. We'll do a nine card spread here. So somebody's deciding whether they want to be honest here. They have a bit of fear and doubt that maybe they'll find peace with this. As there was an ending here. And some growth because of it. I feel like there was maybe some self-worth here that was learned. Or how to appreciate somebody. Or maybe appreciating something that they lost. Let's see here. It's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay. That's the freedom. Whoa. Okay. Leadership and success. Okay. I'm just going to... Oh, and adventures. Okay. So I'll take those three here. Freedom. Adventures and leadership, adventures, and success. Okay. And there's a gateway there. So what is the imagination here? Ah, purification. And power. Okay. And the power to Purity. Okay. I feel like somebody's purifying their energy here. They know they have the power to do that. They can do some spell work there to protect themselves. Somebody's got some amount of patience when it comes to some type of in indecision. I feel like somebody's waiting. There's community that knows what the honest truth is. Somebody doubts there might be some miracles, but there's blessings here and miracles. Yeah, something has to end before this abundance can come in. There's growth here, being flexible about the growth. What's oh, focusing on success? Perhaps that's what somebody's doing right now. How about their love life for Capricorn? What's their love life like? What engagement? <laughs> their love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And if you aren't in this yet, somebody that sees you as marriage material, yeah, you're going to free yourself and take control of your life. You may have children that are affecting this, or your person has children that might be affecting something here. You're going to keep an open mind, Capricorn. Whoa, in the heart of the reading, this could be the one. Wedding, wow. <laughs> you may have doubted this miracle was going to come in for you, but it looks like there might be some unrequited love here. So you're calling in your soulmate. And there's romantic feelings. Okay. So kind of what I'm getting here is you may feel like somebody is the one or they feel you are the one for marriage, but they doubt that you're going to love them back or they don't really, they're going to be honest here. There's some unrequited love going on here. You may realize that and end this bringing in some abundance. You're going to call in your soulmate. And there's a lot of 
growth here and flexibility by going through whatever you've gone through here. There's a lot of romantic feelings. I'm kind of getting that you're going to meet somebody here. And I feel like that it may feel like this is your person. But I feel like it's like, um, what do you call that? Oh, religious factors. You might be spiritual as well. I'm kind of feeling though that it's like that um, gaslighting and telling you what you want to hear, Capricorn. What is Spirit saying about this? What's the engagement? Oh, your crown chakra is open. I feel like you have this just knowing that what's coming in for you. You might be writing a book about your experiences with spirituality or some type of spiritual based books here. And I feel like when you, if you get nervous, you're going to focus on getting your stuff done. I feel like somebody might be immature with the children's card or this may be a sibling or Hmm. What's the keeping the open mind here then? Oh, mediumship. So, okay. You have the natural ability to connect with the departed loved ones. You also have clairvoyance. So this may be your clair that you have that helps you connect to your departed loved ones. You might see. Trust that your mind's eye, as well as your physical sight for your spiritual vision, helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Archangel Michael is working on very closely with this powerful, work closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. So somebody might want to get engaged to you here quite quickly. You might be connecting with spirit through more fruits and vegetables, vegetarian or vegan. And you're trying to vacuum away all this fear here. And something ends here and you get a lot of abundance here. Yeah, you might try the God box where you're putting all your feelings into a box. Some people burn them as well, so there's no trace of it, and that way it helps it come to fruition as well. And you also have a power animal who is a guardian to you and helping you with this situation. Capricorn. My, my, my. Okay, well, let's keep going and see what else comes in for you here. What is this crown chakra? Ah, here and now. So your crown chakra might be, and this may be coming really quickly. You may go to a body of water here. This may be where you meet this person or run into this person, but this looks like it's a karma, karmic cycle with this sibling or your children. Or some kind of purifying your energy. Hmm. Mediumship. Time to go. Okay. Towards your fruition. Yeah, your milk and honey. This might be something that is um, that you have a lot of harmony and cooperation in. The community might start to see you, your honesty, and see who you really are. TikTok, yeah, you might need time or somebody needs time or give time or have time. Yeah, there's a fork in the road here because this person isn't quite what you're looking for. I feel like, yeah, you, there's some a lot of work that needs to be done here for this person to evolve to your level. Yeah. You might be getting gifts or exchanging gifts. This person may gift you things. Feeling romance. Yeah, somebody's mending 
Number seven, which is reflecting and assessing and gaining that knowledge, maybe even spiritual knowledge, especially if there's mediumship here and clairvoyance. Now, this person could be your person that's clairvoyant and mediumship, or this could be you. Take it however it resonates. What's the here and now? Ah, guilt. Okay. So somebody's feeling pretty guilty right now. Maybe about how they treated you. Yeah, they may see you. They might be alone and s see that you're getting a lot of abundance here. Maybe from a book that you write. Somebody might be actually recovering from a never-ending karmic cycle here. What is this? What's the time to go? Hmm. Time to go create something. Maybe this is where you connect with your mediumship and learn a little bit about mediumship here. Oh, some milk and honey. Ah, a lot of gratitude here for your gifts, for the help that you're getting from spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. This TikTok. Hmm. You might be trying to perfect something, maybe have a perfect wedding, or maybe somebody's looking at you in perfection or wants you to be perfect, and that's just not <laughs> realistic. Fork in the road, yeah, there's that rejection I knew because this death card here tells me there's an ending, yeah. So this may have ended because of what you do for a living. This person may not believe in mediumship or clairvoyance here. This may scare this person, to tell you the truth. This, they may know that you see right through them or you've proven that there's some type of gift you have and I, I feel like it scares the hell out of them. You might be in isolation right now. You've had a lot of growth. You're calling in your soulmate. You're feeling these romantic feelings to bring this person in. Yeah, you may have asked spirit and prayed for this manifesting this and getting trying to manifest something here what's the guilt here what is the guilt ah, a man holding a coin now this could be somebody that was trying to or feels money is everything here this might be somebody that had success that's leadership and likes to go on adventures like to be in that freedom maybe even asked you to and get engaged to them. They wanted to marry you. They saw how much you have for your imagination. I kind of feel like you free and you you you're trying to free yourself from this person. Yeah, there's envy here. A magician. I, I can't make it up. So yeah, I feel like somebody feels you're very abundant. And they're envious of this. You might be recovering from this karmic cycle. And this is where your manifestation started. And it might not be until here that it starts to come in. But somebody's not able to go with you here. Somebody's not meant to come with you. Maybe you get a message here with the mediumship. Yeah, you, seventh chakra. This is your crown chakra opening for this mediumship, this gift from spirit I'm getting. Yeah, you are, your gratitude, you're looking for that love connection. You know that love is the highest frequency there is. This is your ascended masters coming in here to say, we got you. Yeah, you may have had um, some financial constraints or your person is. They may feel like they're running out of time. They may see you as the perfect person to get married. That marriage material here. They may see you getting your miracles. 
And I feel like you have released control of things here. You are in your blessings and peace here, I'm feeling. I feel like you know there's some unrequited love here. And you may are connecting better by being a vegetarian. Let's see, what's the rejection? Yeah, yin and yang. Okay. So I feel like you you know what you're looking for. You know what you don't want. And I feel like you feel this unrequited love here that just isn't there, That what you're looking for. This person isn't what you're looking for. What's the service? First chakra, Archangel Michael. So I feel like with this, this is your root chakra. Um, this is about your insecurities, healing those insecurities um, and having that self-love. I feel like you really learned something once this ended here. And if it hasn't yet, it will, or you are thinking about that. You need to be true to your heart. I'm feeling I like don't settle on somebody that doesn't do it for you. This is number eight. This is taking action or resolving some type of issue here. What's the isolation here? Healer of all ages. Yeah, you're healing here in this isolation. You, you might be doing that where your person is, your dark night of the soul, healing something or wanting to isolate with you, exchange gifts, and heal whatever something happened here or help you heal and get over whatever happened to you. They're going to be flexible. They know there's growth here. Fifth chakra. So this is all about communicating with you. They know that there's this could be a group or a lot of growth. Feeling growth here. They know this is going to help you grow. What is this heart's desires here? What are the heart desires here? Just a man holding the coin. I feel like, feels like m it's all about the money. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. And I feel like there's no acceptance. Um, wanting to change something or used to getting their way. Okay. <laughs> uh, this person secretly admires you. They have deeper feelings than they're letting on. This is that envy. People are envious of this connection or somebody in their energy feels something for you that they're not telling. Oh, balance. You're recovering from, or they are, from this never-ending story. Love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So, but I feel like this was just a challenge and just drain the hell out of you. Might have been um, vampire, like an energy vampire. Just drained you. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your reflection. And I feel like whoever this person is, I'm almost feeling like there's two people here. I feel like one, one might be with somebody and I was children with them. There's another one here who might be your twin flame. One has an envious person in their energy that they have children with. For some of you here, this there's two people here. There's the, the gifts you're getting, and then there's one here that might be your twin flame, and one might be a soulmate or a secret admirer. What's this community here? wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course and i feel like this is where this rejection comes in it, spirit may have already spoke to you with this mediumship or this clairvoyance and you know this person is not meant to come with you what's the miracles here 
my beloved. I feel like your financial constraints are still a part of this until you get rid of this person from your energy. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Now, definitely you, this won't improve until this is done. This part is done. You, then you will receive your, your blessings. And yeah, once this ends, this new beginning can come in for you. You can call in who you want and what you're looking for and become who you want to come in. So if you're looking for somebody that's loving, yeah, this person here, somebody's a soulmate here, this unrequited love. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. I feel like this person's already come in. You may have called in a soulmate already and may have realized this person isn't who you thought they were. It's kind of what I'm getting. And you have two people, one secretly admiring you, may even be having somebody in their energy that is envious of you. Might be trying to keep this person from coming forward. Maybe they treated you kind of crummy with this guilt. You may have actually said something to this person about something or other. I almost feel like it may have came true. <laughs> and this person does not want to tell you that. Because there's fear here. About somebody's being a magician. So somebody may have brought something in here. Somebody's in the way. Somebody's in the way. Somebody else here is unrequited. What's the abundance? Let there be closeness between you, but give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Yeah, once this ending comes in, you're free to call in your soulmate. You vacuum away all fears, and you concentrate on, you work on your service. And those insecurities, I feel like you heal these things. Let's see, what's the flexibility and the healer of all ages? Yeah, there's forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your own reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So make sure it's what you want to bring in. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. I feel like this is where you are, somewhere in here. You may have already let this person go, and I feel like you may be at this point here. I'm kind of feeling it right here. So let's do some tarot. We'll do one card on each. Yeah, somebody didn't want to miss the opportunity here. Let's see. What's the secret admirer and the envy? Yeah, there might be some news here, some inspiration or some fresh ideas. Acting on chance about something here. You might free yourself because you know there's something coming in. You may have seen this or this person has. What is this magician and the mirror here? Just remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Just take what messages do resonate for you and leave the rest for someone else. So you're going to get, you're going to recover from something here. You're going to manifest what you're looking for. You're going to purify your energy and get rid of this fear. You know something's a karmic cycle here. This may be somebody that you had children with, or this is your person who is with somebody here that wants a victory keeping you from missing this opportunity or this person missing an opportunity with you what's the seventh chakra yes look at this this is a blessing a financial a blessing here giving you gifts that maybe you will um maybe write a book about 
mediumship or how you did it or how you connected or something something spiritual you're going to write about or I'm almost getting with this mediumship maybe you help find um, missing children or people that maybe have passed over like were murdered or something along those lines where you help bring their bodies home to the people that don't know what happened to their to them I feel like this could be some type of um, uh, what do you call it um, a new job that you may have or get into I'm feeling forensics or something yeah something's coming in for you this could be this profound clairvoyance as well you, you're giving a lot of gravi gratitude here the community uh, there may be somebody in the community that wants to tell you something be honest with you it might be somebody you were married to yeah that was shady ass behavior I feel like with the shady ass behavior this is why these financial constraints are here they're not going to let you have your blessings when this person is in your energy or your vicinity because this has to do with your stability here and number seven is reflecting and assessing and knowledge especially about spirituality yeah <laughs> Let's see what's the yin and yang. I feel like you did the dark night of the soul. You you balanced your light and your dark aspect of yourself, your masculine and your feminine. Ah, your soulmate is from your past. Yeah, this may be unrequited love here, um, and you're rejecting it. You're not gonna have it. You know what balance is, and this person is not balanced. Yeah, there's that ending here, just to confirm the death card as well. This is a definitely a closing of a cycle for you to call in your new person. Spirit's not going to let this person, they messed it up. They didn't see you as a blessing or I feel like they maybe even were told that you were the blessing and they fumbled it. They didn't want to change. I feel like they didn't want to grow. They didn't want to learn the lesson. Yeah. This may have been a hard decision for you. You may have really loved this person at one point. Didn't understand why Spirit wanted you to end it, but you did it just like Spirit wanted you to. You ended it. You got that self-worth, that self-growth, that self-love. Let's see. Yeah, you have a different perspective of this person. You're, you're seeing what you're meant to see about this person. You're feeling it. You're seeing it. You may even be hearing it. You may have clear audience too. Yeah, this may have been a king of wands. Yeah, they were... I kind of feel like... Whatever perspective they had... They may have been held back from coming in. And feeling that, missing that chance with you here trying to get a different perspective of you having a bit of guilt there yeah they may see that you have the power of position a powerful position here they're envious of this they may see that you really have gifts here what's the winning at all costs or the Six of Wands, I guess that's um, <laughs> um, victory, right? So maybe you get a message from this person. Yeah, this was all torn down. They are not able to be part of this. This may have been this twin flame that came in as well. That looks like there's two people. I'm feeling two people here. Yeah, you're single. This person may come in and say they're single. You're an earth angel, a temperance angel, or 
You've been very patient. You're in the flow. You're at peace. The temperance angel uh, energy, that is Sagittarius. It's all about peace and harmony, being grounded, having that life purpose. Let's see, where are we here? This is someone from the past. Yeah, you leave them out on the cold. They may have been all about the money. Look at that. I can't make it up. There's your self-worth. You're drinking from your own cup. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Absolutely. Wow. You know. You know. You're giving yourself self-love. You learned a lesson here. Yeah, you... This person may have done the walk of shame. You may have been really sad and hurt by what happened here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the death card. Yeah, I feel like this may have been a real hard ending for you. Yeah, but this is this is all about new beginnings. This is transforming the ending to a new beginning, right? So although this hurt to do this, you did this anyway. You you had faith with spirit. I feel like this was something that was meant to happen. Tell me about something here. Yeah, you're going to get to know somebody here. Healing family issues. This is going to happen very soon. So I feel like whatever love is coming in here for you. Yeah, trust spirit and have faith that this is coming in for you quite soon. Uh, forgiving and learning. Now, you may realize that there needs to be this forgiveness for yourself. For yourself to move forward in a healthy relationship. Getting rid of all that baggage. Yeah, there's wonders here. And voyage. So this is some type of... I want to say trip or voyage. Like this is something that is a journey for you. Maybe you're going somewhere. Wow, this is where this love happens. So you might go somewhere that ends up running into somebody that maybe is an acquaintance or somebody you've known from childhood or something here. Let's have a look here. Yeah, you're going to accept this. There's balance here. Yeah, building blocks. And it's faded. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely faded. And it's something you can build on. It's a foundation that you can build on here. Yeah, Angel of Strength. You're a very strong person. Yeah, you may have had that heartbreak. Yeah, there may have been somebody that was attached to this person that kept things from moving forward. And now you have the coin, I'm feeling. You're a person that has coins now. And if you don't yet, you will be. What's going on over here? Yeah, there's somebody that feels guilty. This may have been a friend. Yeah, patience. That's one of the harder ones to learn is patience here. Let's have one more look here. What do we have? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I love it. It's so awesome. Let's just break the deck on this. Yeah, somebody's going to come in to fight for you. Your wheel of fortune is going to start turning. And somebody here, I feel, had this empty victory here. Um... Whoever this was to break your heart, I feel like this might be their karma. 
to watching you move forward with maybe somebody else. Yeah, you're very strong. Strength has come up. Maybe it's a Leo. Yeah, you put something to bed here. Yeah, something that maybe was keeping you up or somebody up. Yeah, the Emperor is coming in. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, this is something that needs to be healed. Oh, look at the lovers here. Wow. Okay. And I feel like this is all coming in after this ending. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, whoever this ending was that broke your heart, they're going to have this karma. Your emperor is going to actually come in. They can't stop thinking about you. They may have to end something before they can come forward. They're going to heal before they do. There's a lot of love here. We may heal each other here because we have the healer of all ages as well. So I feel like you may end up helping each other heal whatever issues or problems you had in your unions prior to this. I feel like your other person, like your person that you're going to end up with here that really does love you, your emperor, I feel like they've been through some shady ass behavior too. Like they've had someone else be like that to them. And I feel like you have some things in common but that it's not a trauma bond. I don't feel that. I feel like it's more that you have a lot of in, same things in common and that you've all both overcome, that you both have let go of and have walked forward from leaving the past behind you, releasing all of that. I feel like this person wants love as well. This is beautiful, Capricorn. Things are starting to evolve here. Things are going to come through for you. Whatever financial constraints here that you have going on here. There may even be a wedding and an engagement to somebody here. But you may end up getting separated from this person and finding your true person. There's something here that needs to be learned possibly learned unless you decide to walk from this person something's faded though so it's it's meant to happen a certain way and I feel like it's whatever it is you're going to heal and move forward from it you're very very strong and I feel like you know that all these things that come in these are all life lessons that you're meant to learn for a reason. This is what life's all about. It's not about the blame game and blaming other people. It's about what you learned from the experience from this person. And would you be able to recognize it again? Would you let that happen again? Or would you have learned from it and stay away from people like that and listen to your intuition telling you things? And hearing and seeing what you need to see in order to move forward to learn the next lesson <laughs> all right you guys i gotta leave it there please like share and subscribe and if you like the vibe that's going down here become part of the divine oracle tribe if you haven't done so already <laughs> You can donate in the description box. There's a PayPal account you can click on. It'll take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks. Or just watching the videos certainly helps support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. I will be doing the free reading once again for Jul the last month, which would be July. And I know uh, because we're doing August right now, I will have everything set up for the first so you can go into the community tab and have a look there about how to win a free $140 valued free reading that you can try to win okay you can gift the reading to someone else if you don't want it for yourself and there are conditions with that you have to get permission from the person they have to want to have the reading <laughs> And I'll need a name and they need to give you permission to give me the name so I know 
who I'm looking for because they're going to have to email whoever it is you want to gift the reading to. I may open up my, I, I don't normally do private readings, but I've had quite a few people that want to have readings. So I may open that up. I'm not too sure about that just yet. Um, I feel like I have my hands full enough already doing what I'm doing. So we'll see how it goes. I might attempt to do it. We'll see. I'll let you know in the community tab if I am opening up any readings. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. Later.